Hello and welcome back to product demonstrations for Nebula Studio. Today we're going to be talking about product compression or more appropriately product optimization. So as you develop your product you tend to gather quite a few resources that you wind up not using. This application will take those resources remove them, reorganize them, and compress them into a project that you can deploy that will have a smaller footprint. So let's take a look at some of the features and see where the development is at. So as usual, you will first open the RPG Maker MV Project Editor and load in a project. In this case, I'm loading in one of my test projects. After it's loaded, you can verify that everything's loaded, clicking through the tree view and then you'll go up to Tools, Optimize Project. Click Next Step and you'll configure your settings. At this point we have four different options. Compress the JavaScript, compress and remove the face and character images, and optimize the tile set images. I'm regularly using compress and optimize interchangeably but realistically the only thing that is being compressed at this point is the JavaScript. When you're done selecting your options, you'll click I am ready, optimize me. It'll take a second to process and you'll get to the results screen. This results screen will show you in the code compression we reduced the overall JavaScript footprint by 28%. Now this is a little bit more complicated than just minifying JavaScript because we need to retain all of the valuable comments. So a special compression engine was written to retain all of the important comments while minifying the rest of the JavaScript. This is extremely experimental and I would not recommend this for any type of production work but it's good to kind of play with to see where you're at. Actor faces, there's 160 of them found, you only needed 20 of them. You only needed three files so the new size is less than one megabyte, saving quite a bit there. Same thing with characters, over 450 of them were found, only needed 51, and we're down to uh, 387 kilobytes. Uh, tile sets, tons of them found, 129, only needed 38, and got that down to 20 megabytes. And you can see overall the savings in size was 68.9%, and using the graph you can see on the stack graph exactly how much you're saving per area. Now we plan to add a few more definitions in here um, including some event um, calculations where we can reduce the number of events and compress that and there's some actually complicated code that's getting written to create reusable um, code for that so it'll reorganize and redistribute all of that. And then in addition to this we have what is called plugin compression schema. So this compression only takes into account the standard base RPG Maker definition. So for the characters, um, it looks for the events that use character faces and character uh, images, but it does not take into account any definitions through the node tags of any plugins. So what we've gone ahead and did was develop an interface that for each plugin you can define some additional code to look for any note tags that are using them. That plugin interface is really quite simple. Uh, you pass in a project and in the definition of that then you can run it and return a list of the appropriate images to use. So stay tuned. Uh, some great new features coming up as the release of this will be next week. Uh, we're still developing the process of the project. Uh, like and subscribe, visit the forums, and keep 